Hello everybody and welcome to another RTT range day. Let me see if I can get this uh, camera where I need where I want it. Um, we're gonna do some things in reverse today. So I have a couple spots. I haven't been out actually in a few weeks. Um, that it's was be would be normal for me to be out every weekend to every other weekend to some of the high trafficking uh, high illegal trafficking areas um, but it's been a few weeks since I have been a lot of it is because of um, you know some of the social distancing stuff some of the availability of my guys some of the you know uh, weather and so on and so on there's, there's just been stacking issues uh, as well as time constraints as well um, I'm still working I know there's many people out there that aren't but I still am so I just haven't been able to get out there very much lately and uh, that's the first place we're gonna hit today is a couple of those areas and then we're going out to the range and uh, yeah I'm not sure how much shooting I'm going to do today. And that may mean that some of you guys are logging off right now. But uh, I have a few, I have a, two or three reviews to record today. And uh, unfortunately, I only brought one SD card. So we'll see what happens. But let's hit the road. We're already on the road. Let's uh, let's just get there and see how today turns out. All right, guys, we are here. Let me shut this off. Grabbing some gloves. Damn flies. I'll put you right here for now. So I can tell you that from where I'm parked at off the side of the road, that I can already see. I can already see some signs. This is not far from a residential area. And a lot of the people in this residential area are kind of low lowlifes. Um, not everybody, not a lot are. And, uh, You got some crooked looks being out here. You got some definitely crooked sideways eyeball from people when you're out here. Try to time my going into this area with traffic because yes, that's needed. All right, first thing first is right in here. As soon as I got in here, carpet shoe. <clears throat> that one looks like it may, it's not that old because it's still got all the color. <clears throat> but uh, it's been here since at least the last rain. Um, so they make these 
and it's to help hide footprints, less defined footprints. So as soon as I got off the road, there's one. What else is back here? And this looks like it might be the mate to it. Right there. You can hear the road. What are you? What are you? Out here. You do have to be careful. Should have grabbed my rifle. Okay, so I know what this stuff is. I've, I put, I actually, this is, was a pile of stuff that I put here um, when I was out here last time looking through crap. I just kind of put everything in a common pile. It looks like the wind may have came through or, you know, somebody came through and kicked it. But, uh, yeah, I put this, there was more bottles, so I don't know where the bottles are, but, um, I just kind of left this stuff here in a pile. There's carpet shoes, some old clothes, um, an old bottle. That sling is how they carry it. Uh, there's another bottle right there under that bush. Right there. There's an old, old carpet shoe right there. That's what it looks like when they get old. Another old bottle. A lot of this stuff, a lot of this stuff is probably the stuff that I had already seen out here. We're gonna head back here a little bit farther though. Last time I was out here with anybody, it was back here farther along this wash that we found probably the biggest concentration of stuff. There's a bottle. I know this is probably boring for some of you. So this is old stuff. You can see how it's bleached out. All right? That used to be black in a black kind of camouflage. All right? So again, here's one of the bottles of the sling. It's not that old. It's still not super old. I mean, it's still pliable. There's the cap for it right there. See it? All right, moving on. There's more stuff. But I think this is all the stuff that I'd seen before. Yeah, so here's old. An example of old, old, you know, bleached out, old bleached out. So they do wrap it in camo right there. 
that's old see how that was like stuck in the mud like really stuck in the mud those are old bottles here's more stuff Probably, that's enough for me, I think, in this particular area, just to see that it doesn't seem like traffic in this area has picked up uh, since last winter. That's when this stuff was new. A lot of the stuff was new last winter. That's when I was out here. And the last time I set a game camera out there, it caught, it caught nothing as well. So it looks like having a relatively constant presence here has paid off to a certain extent. And uh, there also is probably some busts out here, which means they're gonna start using a different area. Here's another bottle, probably an old one. There's that one that I already saw. That's one I already showed you guys. Old shirt. I like finding the old stuff. The old stuff means it's not being, this area is not being used anymore. That's why I like finding the old stuff. That means that at least in this area, there's less activity. And nothing, nothing. This is, oh, what's that? Oh, that's nothing. This is all overgrown. This was all cleared out a few months ago. All this, you know, tall bushes and stuff. It's all overgrown now. So I guess that's it um, for this spot. Let me get out of here. I gotta crawl, crawl through a bush to do it. Otherwise, I'd take you with me. <sighs> Let me crawl out of here and uh, we'll see you at the next spot. So, coming out, I found these. These are two old backpacks right here, but do you see how muddy they are? These have been out here for years and years. Um, but you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but this has all been like bulldozed. Right, this is all fresh dirt. This wasn't like this. And so, wherever they dozed this dirt from, they dug up those bags. So it was probably from this area down here or across the way where they, um, where I found these two bottles before I took the camera live, which is those two bottles down there. So, I'm now at a spot. Oh, God. I'm going to need to get this truck repainted already. I'm now at a spot. The last time I found a big a big amount of stuff, like new stuff. So, I think that's one of them. I see footprints. 
Or is that new stuff? So you can see the footprints. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Can you see the footprints going through the, this dry grass? This is not the stuff I found before. This stuff's almost new, almost brand new. So you can see the dead, the beaten down area. And I don't know if they came in this way. You see that trail? I don't know if they came in this way. This is where they dropped their shit and got changed. And then got a pickup where my truck is at. That's where their ride picked them up at. This is all brand new stuff. I don't have my gloves on, so I'm not gonna touch it. But that has, it was very pliable, almost brand new. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten pairs, or five pairs of carpet shoes. This is the route they came from. What is that? I've never heard an animal like that. So... some disturbed dirt there but nothing okay so that could be it looks like maybe some path through there that's too heavy now I can't tell see how it's all been blown over Well, so here's, so I just came in this way, right here. You can see my tracks, maybe you can't. But here's another set of tracks coming out this way. Now, I'm not the only person that does this, okay? I'm not the only person. I mean, I know two or three other people that are basically independent of me that are serious guys. Well, two. Two other people that are independent of me and my group that come out here on a somewhat regular basis. So that very well could be his prints, you know, his tracks. Nothing. Nothing. So we're back on BLM land now. The importance of being on BLM land is that it's public land. Um, I have all the state trust permits needed, but 
Yeah, the importance of it being BLM land is that it's public land and that uh, I can camp out here, I can do many things out here, shoot out here. Um, oh shit, what the fuck is that? And all that. I know this is probably an incredibly boring video. Okay, so I see some stuff. Put you down here. I'm gonna take a walk. So one thing I try to look out for are game cameras. Um, there are people like me that put game cameras out, and there are dishonest people that put game cameras out. There's a group of people that calls themselves Veterans on Patrol, although last I checked not made up of any actual veterans. Um, Led up by a guy named Lewis Arthur, and they stage a lot of a lot of these illegal spots, right? They stage a lot of them. Here's a just an absolute shitload of clothes, but it's all old, right? You can see that it's all old and it's been washed here. But here's just a shitload of clothes. A piece out there. But he also puts up game cameras and uh, attempts to smear people that are out here doing work. He does it for the fame and for notoriety and for money and for donations. While the rest of us do it, usually behind, yeah, you know, we don't. Like he, he's the he, he's the kind of guy that that uh, says, as soon as we find a place where I have Wi-Fi, I'll go live so you can see what I'm doing. That's there's only one reason for that. That's because you want to do it for notoriety. Where the rest of us do it, and we generally don't make videos about it. It looks like some socks there. I saw this cooler. See that? I saw that from my truck. That's why we stopped here. That turned into a whole bunch of nothing. But, so sometimes people leave food and drink out here for illegals. And that's throughout the desert, they do that. Um, I don't touch it, I don't mess with it, I document it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't touch it, I don't mess with it, I document it, and uh, let things fall where they may. It's not my property. That's the things that, that's, that's, that's the, uh, like those of us who are actually serious about doing this and keeping militias and citizen border, you know, border recon, citizen border patrol. Um, those of us who are actually serious about keeping us in a good, good name and good light with not only the public, but uh, in cooperation with law enforcement. Um, that's what, you know, we don't trespass. We don't steal things from other people. You know, we don't go around slandering groups uh, because they don't make YouTube videos all the time 
for notoriety and donations like Veterans on Patrol does, you know? Um, you know, I, I don't, I'm not a thief, I'm not a criminal. I do this for the actual preservation of our society and to keep drugs, to try to keep drugs off of our streets, at least in this area, the best I can. And that's why only occasionally you see photos or videos, or I might take you on an excursion like this occasionally, because it's not about notoriety, it's just about getting it done. Alright guys, so that's it. Um, I would love to do a bunch of shooting for you for this quote-unquote range day. More like a vlog, it's I don't know, you know, just a vlog. But uh, you know, I just don't have the ammo to just be shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting, especially with uh, prices the way they are and a, bill, a lack of availability. But I do have a couple reviews to make, so I'm gonna do those right now, and we will talk to you later.